How do I deal with people who intentionally try to dishonor the name, reputation, and history of the Prophet Muhammad Al-Maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Sheikh Yahya Ibrahim. I want you to know that this isn't something new. There have been people all throughout time in the time of the Prophet and after who always had this agitation of heart, this devilish inclination to speak lewd comments and frivolous vulgar statements about the most noble of humanity, our Nabi Muhammad So Allah makes it very simple for us. And Allah says to the Prophet, I will suffice you and protect you against those who have sought to ridicule you or to dishonor you. In a famous incident, the Prophet Abu Jahl mischaracterized and mispronounced his name intentionally. Instead of calling him Muhammad, he called him Mudhammam. Them, it means dishonor, humiliation. So Mudhammam means the one who is dishonored, while the real name of the Prophet ﷺ is Muhammad, the one who is praised. So when the Sahaba got furious, they said, Ya Rasulullah, this evil man, he's mischaracterizing your name. Make dua against him. And the Prophet ﷺ said, he's speaking about somebody other than me. He's talking about Mudhammam. I'm a guy named Muhammad ﷺ. Whether he likes it or not, I am the one who is praised. I'm the one who the peace of God descends upon him, who the angel angels make dua for. I'm the one who will be celebrated. Don't worry about his, his ridiculous assertions, his mischaracterizations. It has no bearing upon who I am. And that level of self-confidence is something that at times is missing in our ummah today. When you see people reacting violently, incoherently, and in contradiction to the spirit in the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. We are an ummah who loves our Nabi ﷺ, are proud of who he is and what he did and how he achieved it and how he is celebrated in the heavens more so than even on earth. And our quiet confidence in that is what sees us through any ridiculousness. So whatever is said, don't be a witness to it. Allah says, فَأَعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ Turn away from them. حَتَّى يَخُودُ فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِهِ Block and delete in your social media. Unfriend if you have friended someone who has this habit and move forward to a channel and to a, a, an uplifting message of those who appreciate what you appreciate or at least are not anxious in, in seeking to spread dis messages of disunity and, ri and ridiculous assertions upon, uh, upon our Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And my final advice is increase your salawat for every time you've read or heard something that has uh, troubled your heart and may Allah bring it relief and ease. Allahumma ameen.